Welcome to our lecture online. Here's another interesting view request. It deals with orbital motion and satellites going around the Earth in circular paths. Now the problem reads as follows. Two identical satellites, and I guess I should put an S there, satellites orbit Earth in circular orbits at a distance of R and 3R from the surface of the Earth, R being the radius of the Earth. And they're supposed to, they're telling us to find the ratio of the linear momentum of A and B. They give us four answers, one to one, one to the square root of two, the square root of two to one, or two to one. All right. So two things we need to do first. What do they actually mean? Well, the ratio of the linear momentum is the linear momentum of A relative to the linear momentum of B, which means M VA divided by MVB. And since they're identical satellites, they must have the same mass. So essentially, they want us to find the ratio of the velocity of A and the velocity of B. That's essentially what they're asking us to do, and one of those four answers should be correct. The second thing we have to realize is that when we talk about orbital motion, the radius of the orbit is not the distance from the satellite to the surface of the Earth, but the distance to the center of the, surf, of the center of the Earth. So really what we're looking for is RA is really twice the radius of the Earth, the height above the surface plus the radius of the Earth, and the radius of this satellite, the radius of B, is equal to four times R, the radius of the Earth, plus the 3R, the height above the surface. So you can see that that is important to realize that those are the actual radii of the orbits of the two satellites. Then we also realize that there's a relationship between the velocity and the kinetic energy. We know that the kinetic energy of any object is equal to one half mv squared, which means that the velocity of a and b can be found by finding the kinetic energy of the satellites. And then we realize there's a relationship between the kinetic energy and the potential energy of a satellite. We know that the kinetic energy of a satellite is equal to negative one-half times the potential energy of a satellite. So all we have to do is find the potential energy, then we can convert it to kinetic energy, then we can find the velocity, and then we can find the ratio. So that's the plan of attack. So the next what we need to do is, of course, find the potential energy of a satellite. And the potential energy of a satellite in orbit is equal to minus the gravitational constant times the mass of the satellite times the mass of the Earth divided by the radius. And since we're talking about the potential energy of A, we use the radius of A. So that would be the radius of A, which is equal to minus G M big M over the radius of A, which is 2R. Now we can do the same for the potential energy of B. So the potential energy of B is equal to minus GM big M over the radius of B. In this case, the radius of B can be found to be equal to 4R. So now we have the potential energy of both satellites. Now we can find the kinetic energy by taking negative one-half times the potential energy, which means that the potential energy, uh, not the potential energy, but the kinetic energy for A is negative one-half, so the, the negative drops out, and it's half of that, so it would be G M big M over 4R. And the kinetic energy for satellite B is half the negative half of this, so that would be equal to a positive g m big M over 8R. So now we have the kinetic energy of the two satellites. Now what we could do is we can find the ratio of the kinetic energies of A to B. So the ratio of kinetic energy of A to the kinetic energy of B is equal to A would be g little m big M over 4R divided by kinetic energy of B, which is G M big M over 8R. So the G M M cancels out. We can divide both sides by R, so the R's cancel out. So all we have left is that the ratio is 1 over 4 divided by 1 over 8, 
which means it's 1 over 4 times the inverse of that, which is 8 over 1, which is equal to 2. So the ratio of the kinetic energy of A to the kinetic energy of B is equal to 2 to 1. So because we want to write as a fraction, 2 to 1. Of course, we're not looking for the kinetic energy. We're looking for the velocity. So then let's take this again and take the square root of both sides, which means that the square root of the kinetic energy is equal to the square root of 1 half m v squared, which is equal to the square root of 1 half m times v. So now we can replace kinetic energy by that. So that means that this is equal to, uh, let's see here, the kinetic energy of a, oh, I think what I should do is, of course, take the square root of both sides first. So take the square root of this, the square root of that, the square root of this, and the square root of that. So now we know that the ratios of the square root of kinetic energy of A to the kinetic energy of B is the square root of 2 to 1. So it's equal to the square root of 2 to 1 because the square root of 1 is still 1. Now we can replace that by that quantity. So now we have the square root of 1 half m times VA divided by the square root of 1 half m times vb, because that's equal to the square root of kinetic energy of a and b, is equal to the square root of 2 over 1. And then since this cancels out, we now have the ratios of the velocity of a to the velocity of b being equal to that ratio right there. And remember that that is proportional to the ratios of the linear momentum. Now we look up here, and is there an answer that looks just like that? And the answer is yes. Right here, the answer C is indeed the square root of 2 to 1. And that's the ratio we found between the two velocities of satellite A and B. And that is how it's done. How do you get like, kinetic energy is equal to 1 half potential energy? Yes. How do we get the, re the relationship between the kinetic energy and the potential energy? Is that this thing right here? So... It turns out, and we have that in some of our other videos, if we calculate the potential energy right here, and then we calculate the kinetic energy of a, of a satellite, which is equal to 1 half mv squared, if we now compare this to this, if we compare these two to one another, we find out that the kinetic energy is equal to negative 1 half times the potential energy. So I could show that, but that would take an entire video again to do that. But yes. Plus a little else. <laughs> Actually, you need to see it, but we do have that on video if you want. If in our orbital motion on the gravitation videos in physics, we do have the explanation of how that's done. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Okay. Because I didn't remember that. It's very handy if you remember that. If you don't remember that, then you have to calculate it, right? But that's indeed the case. In orbital circle, orbital motion, that is always the case.